technology is a new way of life. It's infiltrated many other parts of our lives. And so artists playing with tech and innovating with it, using it as the contemporary toolbrush is something important in the way to go. The thinking process for, on both ends is very different. As an engineer, you start with the big picture view. Okay, this is the problem. Um, these are the perhaps the possibilities of solutions. And then you just keep going narrow and narrow and be like, okay, this is the solution. This is an art, especially tech art, where it starts with a cool new tool, know nothing about it, let me play around with it. The first time I touched a computer, when it, when it starts processing, no, I'll move my wheelchair behind because I think the computer is going to blow or something like that. Yeah, I also like that only because you don't know what it is, you don't know and you're also worried about making some stupid mistakes, but it is those stupid mistakes that will actually save us. And that creates a space for experimentation, for challenging ideas, for finding, okay, where does this break, where does this work and what are the new ways of creating with these technologies and what are those sort of possibilities and also obstacles and challenges. In the early times, what you call AI is slightly different than what it is right now. You see that it has strengths which could benefit me as an artist. And when that happens, a better connection gets built. And that's what I think uh, seemed to happen with many people. Art, as an interface, we can actually connect artificial intelligence and real human beings and then just put them inside of the data stream so that we can now experience new phenomena and kind of see how stressful, how paradigm shifting and how catastrophic and beautiful artificial intelligence can be.